Oh, look at this. This is a great place to have a beer. Just stop over here though. major major win today oh. trailer break yeah well the grades out here are pretty bad too I had a couple of really bad grades just now the trick is going to be long downhills because those are going to heat up the brakes big time. But they heat the brakes up no matter what. So, it's nothing my Kashi can't take. I mean, she's. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so, it's nothing she can't take, you know? Because she's built for it. That's, she's built for long haul like that. Our first happy visitors. I think a trailer break would be a great idea. Honest to God, I really do. I, if we could figure out how to make that happen, let me know. Not to mention, how do I park it on a hill, right? <laughs> Over the divide, I know. I know, I know, it's like, what do, wait till I have to ford a river that's a foot deep, what about that, right? What about that, what about fording a river that's a foot deep? It's going to be a hassle, no doubt. Because I'm, I'm going to take her off road, that's why I got the, the back, that's why I got the, the that's why I got those chunky wheels, so they can go off road. She'll be fine. If I lower the pressure on the on the front and the front and the back tire, she'll be totally fine on gravel because she's so stable. You just can't let her tip. If she, t it's just like riding. It's like riding a motor. Riding, you know what? And now that I'm starting to remember, it does remind me a lot of riding a motorcycle. When you, when you ride a motorcycle, you cannot let it tip. You can't ever come close to letting it tip because you can't get it back up once it falls over. And it's funny, I just now that I'm thinking about it, those are it's it's like it's like kicking in all my motorcycle you know intuition. It's like don't you know start slow you know look around for everybody because you're, you can't stop fast you know you never ever want to skid on a motorcycle you know make sure you take your corners nice and easy it's like it makes me into a really safe rider which you know it's kind of interesting because you know I got in trouble I lost my teeth on that bike because I was going too fast and I was going downhill with no light on I would never do that on this bike there's no way there's no way I would do this on this bike. I wouldn't even go down that road on this bike. Anyway. Good times. Super happy. I think I'm going to bring... I think I'm going to set up two... Um, I think I'm going to set up two Bella boxes to stream on it at the same time because the battery for the Bella box is not that bad. Because the Bella box does not have to have any Verizon backup. Does that make sense? Oh, there's a police officer. I hope I'm not breaking the law.
I think I'm in the I think I'm in the beer drinking district. It's super beautiful here, huh? I could probably rig a rim brake on the back wheel. Yeah. Chalk the wheels. I think you probably am gonna have to chalk the wheels, right? It's a long haul trucker. Cashy the long hauler. I cannot tell you how happy I am that that just makes that the lines look so good on that trailer. You know. I think I think we need to make stickers. Do you think stickers? Can somebody tell me? Here. I gotta ask ChatGPT. I don't have I don't have battery. God damn it! Did I bring one with me? I don't think I brought even a battery with me. I normally always should bring one with me. I'm gonna lose battery. <laughs> you know what I could do? I could. I could run one from my my pack actually. Yeah, I could I could steal the one from. I probably am gonna need to do that. Let me go do that right now. How much? Never mind. Looks like you got cut off. What were you asking about? Uh, what was I asking about? What was I asking about, everybody? I was going to ask it about something. I can't remember. Brain, old man. Oh, stickers. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Would putting stickers on my Starlink decrease the signal strength? Stickers on the surface of your Starlink dish shouldn't affect the signal strength much, as long as they don't cover the entire dish or interfere with the receiver. It's best to keep the dish as clear as possible for optimal performance. Hmm. What if I write on my Starlink dish with a marker? Will that affect the signal at all? Writing on the Starlink dish with a marker shouldn't significantly affect the signal, especially if it's just small markings. However, it's still a good idea to avoid covering large areas or making multiple marks, as any obstruction can potentially degrade signal quality. I don't think we should put anything on it. I, I, there's plenty of room for stickers elsewhere, you know what I mean? Keeping the dish clear and unobstructed will ensure the best possible signal. It's always best to follow the manufacturer's recommendations for optimal performance. All right, thanks. You're welcome. This would be harder to return, that's true. I think I'm just going to leave it. And then I'll put RWX Rob on something else. I don't know what. We'll like make a banner or something. What we should do, we should make the traffic side, the traffic side paneer should have a big old banner on it. So people from the side can see, can see what the, what the banner says. You know what I mean? Because people are going to be curious. They're going to be like, what the hell is that? And they're going to stop and they're going to ask me about it. I'm trying to think of how I could rig that up. Actually, it's funny. I actually ordered jerseys and they didn't come through. And so I ended up canceling them. I had jerseys that said RWX Rob on the back. Yeah. I don't, 
I mean, that would be like merch or something. I don't know. People, people generally want to see. You know what else? It's kind of a believe it or not. It's kind of a, a theft deterrent. When when there's like a big old sign on it, and and everybody knows that you're being broadcast, you would wear that. Hey, would you really, Mark? Are you capping me? Are you not serious? If you would wear an RWX jersey, I'll get you one. Do you want a do you want a jersey or do you want a? What I was thinking of doing is getting like a BMX jersey. You know what I mean? I have another question too. So right now I'm wearing the rig, the POV rig, and I have a feeling that I'm probably going to end up doing this more than I thought. Not cap paint, just a t-shirt is fine. Get already best merch. We should probably eventually get merch going. I agree. I think we should too. The first bike trip, Keshi the Starlink, babe. Keshi, I am so proud of you for being able to haul that thing, man. No other bike that I have could pull that shit off. My Fisher would buckle under that. There's no way my Fisher could do that. I don't think I definitely couldn't put paneers on my Fisher you guys what do you think should I should I save I have I have uh, paneers for the front forks but I think I'm going to keep the anything cages and I'm going to save the front, front forks for water I'm going to put I'm going to save them for water I'm going to put a front frame pack on t-shirt with a picture of the rig screened on it I totally you know what else I'm gonna do we gotta get we gotta go to adventure cycling in Colorado adventure cycling historically takes a picture of everybody's rig who has done the trip I don't want to tell my weight up front you're right that's what I'm trying to say I think water up front would be fine I'm trying to figure out where to put the water bottom line I need to be able to carry five liters of water and I'm thinking of I mean it's kind of the next phase of this whole thing is like where do we put all this stuff right um, I hate heavy forks they're like so squealy so I have my entire sleep kit my entire tent kit goes into the right anything cage bag and my entire cook kit goes into the left anything cage bag and I really like having it that way because I can um, I can take my cook kit and I can combine it with my bear bag and I can just take my bear canister and and my and my cook kit and I can put that wherever the hell and if the bear gets to my cook kit I'm fine I don't care if, if and when a bear gets to my cook kit because it smells like food you know That means that nothing else on my rig has got bear shit on it. It's got anything a bear would care about. So, I'm going to put the frame, I have the front, front frame pack. I'm going to put that back on. And then I'm going to put the mag, the mag, um, what's it called? The mag, the mag bar. That's like a good place to put snacks and stuff. And I'm going to put the battery the battery for the phone, the rechargeable battery for the phone will go there. And then I'm have a I'll have like a 900 liter milliliter 900 milliliter water bottle on the on the only cage that's there. And then we'll do hey hi. And then we'll do hey boobas. You guys got boobas. Brought to you free. Absolutely gorgeous young women. Wearing cowboy boots, no less. I am not wearing a helmet. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a cowboy hat. I'm gonna start wearing a cowboy hat. I'm not even kidding. A cowboy hat's gonna be my regular thing. I don't. I go ten miles an hour, guys. Cool little bike trader. 
It does look like a generator. Technically, it is a generator. Yeah, there's there's a there's a 1.26 kilowatt hour battery in there. That's how you're streaming right now. And there's a 40 watt solar panel on there. Now, the 40 watt solar panel doesn't do shit. I don't care because I can have it. I can have the 40 watt solar panel constantly recharging a basis battery. You know what I'm saying? OSHA approved. Cowboy has to protect from falls. Everybody knows it. Put a kinetic car charge from recycling. That would be great if you could make it so you could actually turn the wheels and have it charge. That would be so fucking awesome. By the way, isn't my Keshi beautiful? Look at how gorgeous she is. She's so fucking beautiful. I'm in love with you, Keshi. Keshi, you are the most gorgeous bike ever. You're so fucking beautiful. Don't tell Nina I said that. I think you're more beautiful than her. Get a good size Stetson? I know, Ray. Right? And it does charge. <laughs> I put a dynamo on there. <laughs> yeah, I don't need no fucking dynamo. No. No. You know, I can plug in my battery and I can have 1.24 kilowatt hours in 90 minutes. That's how long it takes to charge. It takes 90 minutes to charge a 1.24 kilowatt hour battery. Actually, scales. Yeah. That's a great idea, Crypto Cat. Yeah, that's a great idea. Smart idea. I'm reading the plaque. The plaque says, John Franklin Moore, 1822 to 1877. Pioneer a citizen, donor to land of civic use, Mooresville, was named in his honor. No shit. Did not know that. I've been living here for 15 years. I did not know that. The Battle of the Battle of Bentonville chapter. United Daughters of the Confederacy, 1950. John Franklin Moore. Pioneer citizen, donor of the land for civic use in Mooresville was named in his honor. John Franklin Moore, 1822 to 1970. I have lived in Mooresville for more than 20 years and I had no fucking idea who it was named after. I am so ashamed. I feel really ashamed right now. It's like I, it's like I took my own personal bike tour journey to my own fucking hometown. I had never sat here. I've never fucking, I've never read that historic... I have never read that historic plaque. I had no idea where Mooresville, the name Mooresville came from. Now I know. John Franklin Moore, 1822 to 1877. Huh. Did you know Rosa Parks grew up here? She was a slave here. Yeah, Rosa Parks family, family, mother and mother and father were slaves here in Mooresville. That's right. I'm all about educating you. I know that Confederacy plot. I know. He's probably an asshole. He's probably a sl slave owning asshole. Stop being a cigarette. <laughs> Lopsided. Are you fucking Yankee. You know what we should do? We should like print out a bunch of Yankee stickers. <laughs> <laughs> like deface confederate property you want to get me shot no I no thank you no thank you you almost bought a Marrakesh I had a T1 from his son they were going to do cross continental divide but COVID stopped him nice did you I love my Marrakesh man you know I sometimes comp you know what? I got I have the bar end covers and I haven't put them on yet. I got the replacement bar end shifter covers. They fall off easily. You say we're from New York. <laughs> I'm gonna need to start traveling with a gun or some shit. Dude, I this is the beginning of an entirely new life, my friends. I it might be the beer talking, but I gotta tell you. 
I am fucking ecstatic right now. Every dream I've ever had is coming true. I'm going to be able to tour the entire continental United States and make money doing it. I'm going to be able to check into an agile scrum from the rim of the fucking Grand Canyon. Yeah, uh, yeah, what was it? What did I do last night? I don't have any blockers today. No, other than the fact that I'm sitting on the edge of the fucking Grand Canyon and it's distracting me. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait to phone in to like an agile, like weekly team meeting from the fucking Grand Canyon. I am totally going to do that shit. And people are going to like, hey, why are you on video today? You Normally you're just on audio. I don't know. Because I'm on the edge of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> like, wait a second. Wait, what? How are you working out there? Starlink, baby. Starlink, baby. And that's right. I'm more productive out here. You know why? Because it's awesome and there's no distractions. <laughs> <laughs> My PM's gonna get so tilted. <laughs> Here's the thing. Any project matter that gets tilted over me, being able to produce the best possible fucking code I've ever done because I am so ecstatic by working on the road. I am actually gonna be a better worker because I'm gonna be so relaxed and so ecstatically happy every day. I'm going to be the best possible worker they could ever have. I'm going to get top marks every time. And you know what? If for some reason they don't like it, fine. Fire my ass. I'll go work for somebody else. Or not. I'll just fucking retire early. I don't care. Because I'm going to do it. Okay, my entire... How many ounces is that? My entire 25 full ounces of Corona is now in my system... As you can hear in my voice, my voice has acquired a particular slur. Oh, hell yeah, they're going to be jealous. You fucking kidding me? My goal, look, I'm going to write a book. I've already started writing a book about this. I've already started writing a book about this. I'm going to say, escape the monotony, be a digital nomad by bike. Why the fuck wouldn't you do this? I'm sorry. That was really loud. If the technology exists, why the fuck would you not take advantage of this opportunity? You can work remote. You can work. You can have 250 kilobits per second download and 23 kilobit megabits per second upload. You can work more effectively than having a fucking Spectrum Internet account at home in an apartment from a Starlink anywhere in the continental United States, any of the world. Why the fuck would you not do that? Seriously. At this point, why would you not do it? It's actually no more expensive. I pay $120 right now for internet access from my apartment. Think about that, my friends. Think about that. I pay $120 to Spectrum for internet access for my apartment for my family at home. I pay $150 for a 250 to 300 megabit download, 23 megabit upload, 33 second ping from the Starlink that I can take wherever the fuck I want to go. Why would you not do it? You need your three screens to code. Well... That's it. That's a that's a user issue.